everybody. Here we go again. Lisa Davis, I'm back. We're ready for uh, the next round. Now, the first round, you know, took nearly two hours just because of setup. I apologize. So, because we just have two hours left, we'll, you know, have about a little less than an hour in the next set with questions and answers and a break. And then we'll end up with my favorite part. you got to stay to the end because it's all the charting, which is what the assistant will be doing for every patient. All right. As we come back, we're going to go through just some reports in the office manager. Uh, the reason we go through these reports is many offices have the assistant uh, actually job sharing. I know offices that literally have the assistant check the patient in, update their data, take care of the patient, check them out with their insurance, and run any reports or insurance claims that have to do with that patient. So we're going to teach uh, a few reports that the assistant will be aware of. You remember we have our little icons. These are the same ones that are on the desktop. They're the first ones that we navigate. And this little chair is called the office manager. So when I open up the office manager, or the chair, um, you can see that we have a big piece of paper. That's literally what it is. And it will keep accurate track of any reports already done for today. I've done a few, so I could kind of prepare and, and kind of share with you. But this is exactly what this will do. Also, uh, looking across the top, you've got a few other buttons and other things um, we won't be using in our training today. Just a lot more to this. However, there are some reports that we want to review. First one is, you can see on your sheets here, generate day sheet reports. All right, a day sheet is this little piece of paper with Mr. Sunshine right behind it. This little sunshine, the day sheet, literally will let you print throughout the day or the end of the day um, all of the treatment and payments and such that have gone on for the day. It's pretty important in most practices that the day sheet is accurate and that you um, have it printed at the end of each day so the doctor can verify treatment. So when I select our day sheet, lots of options of different ways to actually print or use or view on the day sheet. First of all, you have a list of providers. You can print a day sheet just for certain providers. For instance, maybe the dentist wants to see the day sheet just for the hygienist of the day, what treatment the hygienist did and any monies that came in on the hygienist. Or maybe he has an associate dentist and they just want to see exactly what the associate dentist produced for the day or treatment rendered from that particular provider. Very simply, we're going to do all the providers. I have just finished some treatment for the day, so we'll have a day sheet to work on. There's still a lot of patients in the day that we haven't finished. We're going down to the date. You can print a day sheet each day. It will default to the current day. Or you can also do for a week. If you want to print a day sheet and do day by day, you can change the dates. Or maybe you need to do yesterday's day sheets. You can edit the date that you want to print, but we're always going to work on today. So looking at today, select totals. What do I want to see on my day sheet? I want to include month to date and year to date totals for the whole practice. Month to date, what have we done in, oh, it's July, okay, and year to date, this is January. I could do extended month to date and would show each month. That's going to be too much and too busy. I can include provider totals. Now, this is really a good way that has just a total for each provider at the end of what they produced for the day or the treatment that they had done. We're not going to worry about fee schedules. Not a worry. It'll default to the off the fees that were charged to the patient. Now, you have different types of reports that you can generate. A chronological day sheet. Well, a chronological day sheet simply is as the patients came in throughout the day. 
Um, personally, I prefer chronologically because it helps me to remember who came first, who came in second, and so on and so on. So, you know, that's just a preference. You can do it alphabetical. Um, you could print a day sheet that just shows all the patient scenes for the day, and it'll list it alphabetically if that helps. You have a receipts-only day sheet. In other words, this will print a page that will just show all of the payments made for the day individually. It'll show that Sally paid this much and Joe paid this much and how it was paid. Adjustments. Adjustments simply means perhaps you have a patient who had a senior discount or they had an insurance adjustment. That will show if any adjustments were made today. A deposit slip. I want to show you something about the deposit slip. It'll actually print to look like a deposit slip that they can take to the bank. There's options that you can print on your deposit slip. You definitely want checks to print on your deposit slip and cash. Um, however, you're not going to want Visa or Discover Card or so on from that because those go through your terminal system and they're not paper you take to the bank. So I just want you to be aware you can select what you want to choose to go onto your um, deposit slip. If you do all of them, it'll even print visas and Discover cards and American Express payments, which will not be a part of the deposit, so it will be incorrect. So we're just going to stick with these two. Now, I'm going to show you the difference. I'm going to do a chronological day sheet with month to date and year to date totals and provider totals and a deposit slip just with cash and checks. Simply press OK. As I run reports, it'll just auto default it the next in line. So we're going to look at our day sheet first. When we look at our little buttons across the top, you've got this little computer screen. This is the print preview, so I won't be printing it. We'll just see it on the screen. All right. I am going to take the time to go to, first of all, 100%. All right, 100%. All right, here's day sheet. Here's page one. We had a busy day. This is all the treatment of all the patients that came in throughout the day. It has the right tooth, code, description, charges, who the provider did the treatment. You also have some payments. There's a check payment. There's a visa payment. There's a discount. If I go down a little farther, at the bottom of page one, we have totals, grand totals. Total charges today is in this column, month to date in this column, and year to date. That's the difference if your provider definitely wants to see what they did today versus the whole month versus this whole year. Where are they so far? How much was billed to insurance? How much month to date? And so on. You can see the numbers, how many patients were seen, um, and so on. Page two. Now, I have many providers in this database. So it says provider DDS1 produced this much today, this much month to date, and so on. Provider 2 and provider 3 and so on. It'll show every provider whether they did production or not. So I'm going to move forward a little bit. Okay, this is our last page. This is a day sheet with provider totals. All right, let's take a look at the deposit slip. I highlight it. I do not click and drag. I simply highlight and select my print preview. All right, we're going to see how our deposit slip looks. Remember, I only did cash and checks. There may have been insurance payments, but all I have is a $200 check. You can print this. You can take it to the bank with your uh, deposit. In your actual true practice, you'll actually have bank account numbers and all of that. So they really do take it. This will work. So I don't have visa payments or things like that in here. All right, 
Let's do another day sheet. Okay, looking at the next day sheet, I go to my little Mr. Little Mr. Sunshine day sheet report. I would like to do include just month to date and year to date totals, not provider totals. I don't need to see that. And my actual reports, uh, just to be different, we'll do alphabetical. And I want to do a receipt, so I want to know exactly each payment that came in, because my deposit slip only breaks it down if I ask it to for cash and so on. And if any adjustments were made, there's a little button that says save as default. If I ever want to print my day sheet in the future, it'll print just as I've posted it. But I can make changes any time I want. I'm going to press OK. I have a day sheet, a receipt, and adjustments. Let's look at my day sheet. It should be alphabetical. I highlight and select my print preview. All right, 100%. Alphabetically, it'll have the same data with charges and payments and the provider that did it. By the way, there's a purpose to the day sheet having phone numbers. If there was a patient during the day that maybe had a surgical extraction, when the doctor looks at the treatment for the day, it can remind him that, oh, so-and-so had an extraction. He can call him at the end of the day. How are you feeling? How's it going? Looking at the bottom, you'll notice this is only one page. I didn't do provider totals. I just did just the grand totals with month-to-date, year-to-date, and today's total. Receipts. Here's a receipts day sheet. When I look at my print preview, a little earlier today I posted in some payments. So you can see that all in all there was a check, a visa, American Express, and another check. Okay? It even was assigned to the provider that did the treatment for the day. That is your receipts. And any adjustments that were made. A lot of the times, the doctor likes to know what they wrote off for the day or why somebody got an adjustment, a patient discount. So I highlight it. I'm going to go to my little print preview. There we go. Look at that, friend and family discount, Timothy Abbott, 50 bucks. There you go. So once again, the day sheet is critical probably for the number one reason. The doctor can look at one piece of paper and review if the right charges were billed, and he can see what payments came in. Um, I can honestly tell you, I have seen day sheets before, and the doctor will look at it and say, wait a minute, we forgot to charge this guy for nitrous because I know he had nitrous. Or, you know what, we took a PA on this patient, and it's not in here. So that's just a good reason to know how to run a day sheet. The next section um, is aging reports. Now, interestingly, an aging report is very important, even for assistant to realize, in case they're going to have the assistant help a little bit, maybe call patients, and uh, maybe get them rescheduled. They haven't been in for a while. Or maybe they're going to have them help uh, try and collect a little bit. So very simply, if I go into this word reports, by the way, all of your reports are under this reports button. You have reference reports, many reports you can run, print, or just view. You have management reports. This is the, the few steps to do your day sheets rather than the button, but there's many in here that you're going to be used. Here's your referral reports we talked about. Billing is your statements. Ledger. This is where we get the aging. You can see there's many different accounting. Ledger means the accounting reports. But we're going to put the aging report. When I select it, it's going to give me options. Okay, 
who do I want to see those balances? Um, I can tell you once a month I run an aging report. I want to know who's over 90 days, who hasn't paid us, and why have they owe us over 90 days. So I'm going to do every patient. Guarantor means each family file. I'm just going to do all of them from A to Z. But I want to know how past due. If they're over 90 days, I need to seriously look at those. When I'm looking at options, do I want to sort by their name alphabetically? Anybody who's over 90 to current, I want to do who owes the largest to the smallest. That's pretty important to me. Who owes us the most for the longest amount of time? So it's something I can review. And we have the type of report, standard aging, people who owe. There's a credit balance. Of maybe there's patients who have credits. And if they do, my goodness, we want to get them scheduled and get some treatment done because they have a credit. What we're going to do here is just simply keep it over 90 days by largest to smallest with all the providers, all the patients, and press OK. I've got my aging report here. I'm going to simply come up to this little print preview again. It might take a minute for it to calculate because it's going to have to access every account that owes a balance. Oh, there's not that many over 90 days. I love a tutorial. Okay. We have one family. Oh, there are no families. You know what? I'm going to change it to over 30 days. Reports. Ledger. Aging. Reports. Ledger. Aging report. This time, I'm going to do everybody over zero days. I still want largest to smallest. Why somebody owes us much more, maybe I need to take care of something. Standard aging, anybody who has a balance. OK. Highlight, select, print preview. Aha. Uh -huh. OK. Here we go. What you'll see in an aging report, let me go one more 100%. Okay, what you're going to see here is a list the name, and I did it by who owes the most, account balances. So you've got a family that owes more. It will show the second line the last time they made a payment. There were some payments made recently. And it breaks it down on how much is insurance, how much is the patient portion. So this is a good type of report to run and review and to study so that we can hopefully get on top of these accounts. It even breaks it down if they're current, 31 to 60, 61 to 90. Obviously, that's the aging. So that's something we want to be, keep track of. That is the aging report. All right. Uh, there is one that's called an insurance aging report. Um, I'm just going to show you. It, it's going to be just as simple as the rest. You've got reports, ledger, insurance aging. This will show you all the claims that haven't been paid yet. So your reports, ledger, insurance aging report. If I click on it, I want all my dental claims for every patient that is currently due. I may have to call some insurance company saying, have you received this? Have you not paid on it? Uh, and just to follow up, it's very accurate in keeping track so you don't miss any. Ah, guess there are no claims. I created a few, but it looks like it's not capturing those. Anyway, it'll just show you any claims that should be run about uh, twice a month. All right, next area, the ledger. We're going to skip to the ledger, the billing or their account. 